bury your cream and put your smock on are like two phrases that I've heard every four weeks for the last six years that I've been doing Georgiana's hair. Not kidding you even. So I inherited Georgiana from another stylist that I worked with. And there's like this familiarity there, right? I, th I thought she didn't like me at first when I first started doing her hair, honestly. Uh, but then I learned she just doesn't want the color to stain her skin. And I need to protect my clothes. And also, I got to wash the color out three times. <laughs> Like, I have to shampoo her out three times after we color. Anyway, so before her appointment every four weeks, she goes to the little Mexican restaurant that next door, that's next door to my salon, and she gets a bag of chips and queso. So we sit and eat this chips and queso while our color's processing, and we talk about all the things. We talk about her husband, Bob, and how Bob has resurfaced the pool, had fell off a ladder and had emergency hand surgery all like in the last year. But that didn't stop them from storming the beaches at Normandy before the 75th anniversary of D-Day. I'm not kidding. Like this woman is my hero. She just keeps trucking along. And she's super up on Facebook. She's like the ultimate Facebook warrior, right? She just knows what's going on. When my mother passed away, she was one of the first people to reach out to me and send me a card. Um, and she's not a hugger right but she really gave me the respect and privacy that I needed to grieve and at the same time the compassion when I needed it she's just a really cool lady she moms me right so like now when she comes she says while her colors processing you better go eat your lunch and I can't lie to her because if I do she knows I'm lying just like a mom She's that cantankerous old lady that you just can't help but love. We don't get to eat chips and queso anymore, but we will. Hi, I'm Val Frazee, and I'm doing another piece from Behind My Chair by Val Frazee.